Good morning. Welcome to Deerham and day six of my challenge to walk the Cotswold Way in the month of May. As I say, we're in Deerham and we're heading off to Bath today. So hopefully this will be the final day, 13 miles. And the weather is really nice and sunny. So it should be a good day. Just coming up through Deerham Woods and there's a nice bench here and uh, a message box with a logbook inside for you to leave your messages. Very nice. Right, carry on up. Can't be too much further up towards uh, Pennsylvania. So we're just coming to Pennsylvania and this is the A46. Obviously it's going to be quite difficult to cross. But up there is a petrol station where you can get food and uh, drinks and that sort of stuff. So if you need to stop up, that's good. But we're uh, going across here and then up, up the road, up the path there. So this is uh, Cold Ashton Church. Another uh, squat little tower. It's uh, quite a nice little uh, church. And it's a uh, cross. Which way? Uh, they're open. I suppose it's Sunday, so if they'll have a service, we won't go in. Right, onto the manor at Cold Ashton, I think. So, this is the manor at Cold Ashton. It's quite an impressive uh, gateway. I seem to remember this bit, just this bit here. Um, apart from a small climb in Bath, that is the last climb of the Cotswold Way up onto Lansdowne Hill where there's Bath Racecourse, Horse Racecourse and um, Iron Age Fort and then it will be over there to, and down the other side into Bath. It's a lovely uh, meadow with some uh, what we got there? Clover, mauve, small cowslips, buttercups, and some daisies over there. Yeah, it's beautiful. Just looking back from where we've come, down in the bottom, there's the lake. It's a lovely little valley, tucked away. Very nice. It's the Battle of Lansdowne. It's the standard view across the valley. So we're on top of Lansdowne Hill. So that was the last climb of the day. In fact, the last climb of the Cotswold Way. And uh, we'll be heading out towards uh, Hill, hill forts and uh, the race course now. You can still smell the garlic in the woods, but it's all going over. Be uh, dying off shortly. But uh, you can still smell it, it's uh, very strong. Some more lovely woods. Help cool us down on this very hot day. These are quite interesting actually. I didn't realise that there's actually uh, at the bottom swords. And uh, just up here is uh, Grenville Monument, I believe. So this monument stands on the spot where Sir Grenville, Royalist commander, was killed at the Battle of Lansdowne in July 1643 during the Civil War. Uh, Grenville was an MP and landowner, obviously in Cornwall because he was part of the Cornish pikemen or the Cornish troops that suffered uh, severe losses during the battle. So this monument was built by uh, a mason, a stone mason I suppose, uh, John Harvey of Bath. It was not built for an another 77 years after his death. Interestingly, the railings are all pikes, 
as he was part of the Cornish troops that had pikemen. So here I am, about six miles in, found myself a bench to have dinner, couscous and tuna, just got it on the last day. The view out towards Bristol, across to the bridges, across the Severn, into South Wales, the Forest of Dean, And right up there on the horizon, you can see the escarpment that we've been walking down for the last 95 miles from Chipping Camden. I'm going to enjoy the view, have my dinner, put my feet up for 10 minutes, and then we're going to press on for the last five miles into Bath. And here we have the ramparts of our last hill fort of the Cotswold Way, North Stoke, high above Bristol and Bath, quite an enclosure. We've seen a few over the trip. I think uh, Old Sodbury is probably the best one. Certainly the uh, ramparts were the highest. Seems so long ago that we were looking down on Cheltenham Racecourse some 70 miles ago, I suppose, on day two, and now we're at Bath Racecourse. We're just uh, approaching Prospect Styles and our first view of Bath and Journey's End. Last good view of the walk, I think. I think we go out that way and then down the Green Ridge into Bath. Lovely track down and uh, lovely views over the city as I'm coming down. It's a nice end to a lovely walk. I said that there was one more climb in Bath and this is it, up onto Sion Hill. Really not far to go now. These are the allotments on Sion Hill. Got lovely view across the city of Bath. So just coming into Royal Victoria Park. So we'll see where it's all happening today. People are barbecuing and having fun. Lovely spot. We just walk around here. And Cotswold Way down to the memorial gates. Not very far now to meeting up with the person that's made this journey possible. My wife, thank you for giving me lifts to and from the start and end of my days. I wouldn't have been able to do it without you, so thank you. There we have it, the Royal Crescent. The first crescent in Britain. As you can see, the Royal Crescent is behind me and I'm just sitting in the shade here with the final push to go until we get to the Abbey. Um, I guess it's going to be really busy uh, in the centre of Bath because it's bank holiday. So I thought I just might do my review here of today, which has been uh, day six from Deerham to here in Bath. It's been um, really nice some escarpment walking not too difficult uh, there was that hard pull up to uh, Lansdowne Hill but otherwise it's been uh, fine and the last uh, five or six miles has been fairly level and enjoyable especially the last four miles which were downhill on a really good track lovely views across 
Bath City. All in all, the whole Cotswold Way has been very enjoyable. I've loved doing it. Um, I've done it northbound and southbound now, so that, that's good. And um, I'd certainly recommend it if you're thinking of doing it. There's many ways to do it, backpacking. We could day hike it like I did, or um, I met somebody today, they were using a company where they um, take all your kit from uh, bed and breakfast to bed and breakfast. So that is another option. Uh, sounds quite appealing actually. This is a bit overwhelming with all these people around after being such a quiet place. Well, this is a wonderful, magnificent building. A whole lot larger than the one, the uh, church that we saw at the other end. And we're going to go and find uh, the round at the end. So there we have the round, the same as the one at the start. Uh, Thanks for watching. I hope you've enjoyed uh, the video and I'll see you soon.